Hey, it is Nigel. You asked me to make this video for you, so here we go. Here's a 55 gallon drum, a bore hole here in order to accommodate the Hudson float valve. That Hudson float valve is, I believe, three quarter. What I do, I got some um, fitting from Home Depot. One inch, one inch, one inch. Back to three quarter, you'll get this in the plumbing section. All these fittings. This came with the Hudson valve. So once the water reaches that location there, after the top, it cuts off. No more water flows, doesn't overflow. Then I bore a hole at the bottom here with the recommended size based upon the size of the banjo fitting. You can get that from Granger, uh, Daltmeyer. This one is an inch and a half. Okay, it'll tell you what size of hole to drill with it. You need a hole socket, drill that. Then I'll connect these fittings, which is inch and a half, inch and a half union. I put an inch and a half T because I feed in two pressure washers. I got these um, reducing uh, slip to threaded uh, bushings for a one inch ID, as you can see. It's a one inch ID. So it's one inch ID line. This one runs to one pressure washer, which was this way. You don't need to, if if you needed a 90 degree elbow, you could put one in. And then you get a, um, it, there's this. This one was available at Lowe's, I think. I'm not sure if Home Depot have it. I can't remember. So there was barb fitting to treaded and three quarter to three quarter garden hose. Same thing goes on this end, except it's not a 90 degree. It goes straight into the machine like this and you could see I had to go from this uh, I think is one inch reduce it down to three quarter then I got a three quarter to three quarter garden hose three quarter and, and uh, TP here to three quarter garden and this fitting was available I think at Lowe's so if you have any questions give me a call